Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Welcome to another video in our series on IGCSE Geography. In today's lesson, we will be looking at Theme 2, at a case study for development dynamics. In this case Malawi. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. Malawi is a landlocked country found in Southern Africa. It has a rank on the Human Development Index, or HDI, of 172 out of 189 countries. Malawi ranks poorly on the HDI because Firstly, it has a rapidly growing population, with 19.4 million inhabitants, but it cannot support this rate of population growth. Next, environmental degradation and the difficult physical environment means there is limited land available for development. One third of Malawi is taken up by lakes and unsustainable farming is damaging the land. Also, only 35% of children aged 11 complete primary education. This means there are less people in professional roles which support development, people like doctors, engineers, and teachers. Malawi has a mixed track record of political and economic development. Firstly, let's look at political development. Malawi has had a stable governance since 1964. The present-day government is a coalition of different political groups, meaning a wide range of opinions are shared. Malawi has a high corruption rate, rated 123 out of 180 countries. This is mainly due to widespread bribery within the courts and justice system. Malawi receives a great deal of international support, including from the UK, the World Bank, NGOs, such as Christian Aid and Water Aid. These aid agencies provide financial support for the government to invest in development, as well as providing short-term aid during food shortages. Now let's look at economic development. 80% of the population relies on agriculture for employment and food supplies. Unfortunately, agriculture is negatively impacted by climate change. Irregular rainfall and intense heat waves often cause major disruption and devastate crops. The economy has grown in recent years, with an average growth of 4% each year. The high corruption rate limits international investments, so business is mainly small-scale and local rather than large international businesses that can support more development. 51% of the population live in relative poverty, with 25% of the entire population living in extreme poverty. Poverty is defined as when family income falls below $1.90 per day. Malawi faces several challenges before it can improve their level of development long-term. Firstly, let's look at climate. Malawi's economy relies heavily on agriculture, meaning the climate is extremely important for its development. The environment in Malawi is already under stress, intensive farming strips the soils of nutrients and increases soil erosion. On top of this, Malawi is now experiencing the impacts of climate change. Farmers are seeing reduced rainfall and longer heat waves, which contributes to crop failures and widespread food shortages. Next, physical isolation. Malawi is landlocked, this being completely surrounded by land, meaning farmers and other businesses cannot export their goods overseas directly. If businesses wish to export goods, they have to send them by train to the port of Mozambique. This is a slow transport method and adds to the cost of trade, reducing profits from exporting goods to other countries. In addition, Malawi has a mountainous relief, the landscape being rocky and hilly, which is very difficult to build infrastructure on. This means in rural areas especially, there are poor telecommunications and transport links between villages, which isolates people from the rest of the country and the world. 85% of Malawi's population is rural, so a large proportion of people have to deal with poorly constructed dirt roads as their only means of travel. Due to poor access and communication with other areas, economic development is limited in these areas. Malawi exports the majority of its goods, including tobacco, tea, coffee and sugar, to Europe and Russia, but these exports face regulations and expensive tariffs. For example, EU tariffs on processed goods, for example, manufactured products and cooked products, are higher than unprocessed goods. To avoid the high tariffs, 
Malawi exports lower value unprocessed goods like raw coffee beans, rather than higher value processed goods, like roasted coffee beans, to avoid the high tariffs, which limits the profits that can be made from international trade. Due to these tariffs and regulations, Malawi cannot make as much profit from trade compared to European countries where these tariffs do not apply, which severely limits Malawi's ability to grow economically. Globalization isn't always fair, especially for developing countries. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.